Hello and good evening, everybody. Uh, nobody in yet, but <laughs> start of the line. Um, Plumbing egg, Bab <laughs> Lex is in already. Um, yeah, evening, guys. Um, I've been out all day, all day, to posh part of town, as I call it. We've been to uh, the Wags part of town today. And um, although it is, how can I put it? It's it's good. There's a lot of good stuff, loads of good stuff, but you have to reach to find a bargain because the prices are quite high. Some of the charity shops I don't even bother going into um, because they're just way, way out my price leap. You're talking like 30 quid for a, a Jager dress and things like that. So it's like you get to know which ones are not badly priced and some you just don't even bother going in just so well overpriced so um i'll just say hello to a few people in the chat hi real love seller is it christine or oh, chris i think it's christine isn't it are you friendly with pound girl hi jason hi bumblebee hi car Is this Strictly, are you going to dance? No, I'm not going to dance. I'm on a swivelly chair. I'm at my partner's house at the moment. This is why it looks a bit different. Um, I've got this light behind me, so I don't know how good that is. So, Hi, Mandy. You've been to sunny Tenerife? Oh, my God, get you. I hope it's a lot nicer than here. It's been piddling down all day. Um... Real love, you're in Altrincham, Martina, that's it, Martina, not Christina, Martina. Um, yeah, so, been to posh part of town, I do go every now and again. Um, I've been selling a lot of high-end items in my shop, so I needed to sort of like replenish them. I didn't quite manage it today, I didn't get those one-off items that I wanted, but I did get a lot of um, good items um not bread and butter stuff a little bit more expensive than your bread and butter stuff but um yeah and if i don't stop saying um i'm going to kill myself <laughs> oh real love no is that where you went no i didn't i did go to uh i went to wilmslow today wilmslow and cheadle it's cheadle or cheadle hume i always get the two mixed up there's Cheadle and Cheadle Hume, the one that's got the most charity shops, I went there. So, But as I say, um, there's lots and lots of good stuff there. But if you're not, you have to be prepared to go through every item on the rails, basically, to sort of um, rather find items that, that they may have missed pricing up or um, find which charity shops are slightly cheaper than others. I mean, there's some of them, they like boutiques, the the Salvation Army in Wilmslow is like a boutique. You walk in and they've got like four things on a rail and they're like 30, 40 quid. You're talking 30, 40 quid for a Jager dress. So it's like those charities I don't even bother going into because they're just not within my price range. So no, no, I'm from Wigan, Martina. I'm from Wigan. Can you not tell the accent? I'm a pie eater. So, 31 degrees. Oh, my God, Mandy. I'm well jealous. I hope you're having a, a nice, relaxing holiday, though, because you really deserve it. You've been working your ass off this year. So, um, yeah. Anyway, there's... Oh, I don't know how many of you's in because uh, I can't see the chat. So, um, I mean, I can't see it on YouTube. I can't see YouTube. I can just see it at the side. So, let me have a look. Yeah, sorry if you can hear fireworks or somebody having a party of the way. Yeah, football, very much footballers' wives, yeah. Yeah, it's right next it's right next to Bramall. I have been to Bramall Spa a couple of times as well. That's the same, it's on the same part as Bramall Spa. Yeah. Um, but I prefer to go to Wilmslow and, and Cheadle. So they've got a lovely, lovely vintage shop there. If you're into your vintage stuff, they've got a Bernardo's that is just all vintage. They're actually on Instagram as well. Uh, and you can buy stuff, I think, online as well. A beautiful shop. Really, really, really nice shop. But I didn't go in there today because I wasn't buying. I've got, I have got some vintage pieces, but I wasn't buying from that Bernardo's because they price, they price them quite high, obviously, because vintage so 
Hi, Indy. Too rainy and windy for fireworks. It is. You, you want to hear it, are you? I was going to say, oh, yeah, Cheryl. I hope you're, I hope you're better, Cheryl. Um, I did follow your post on um, Instagram. Yeah, it must have been frightening, that. Been to the vintage one in Cheadle, but it's very expensive. It is, Martina, yeah, very expensive. It's nice to have a have a look round. I like going in just, just for the nostalgia purpose, just for having, you know, having a look round. But, um, hi, Christine. Um, can you hear that? Can, they, can you tell me in the chat if you can hear that? It sounds like they're laying fireworks off in room. Anyway, you come for see a haul video and not listen to me later on, so I'll whip through and show you. I have got a couple of nice vintage bits and I've got um, a nice vintage coat, which I'll show you at the end. But I'll just go through what I picked up, what I paid for it. Bearing in mind that I probably paid um paid up more than what i would in my area but don't often see these brands in my area so you're feeling fine now pound uh, cheryl. you're feeling fine now cheryl just a false alarm oh god it must have been so frightening that right so crack on Right, first item, not the first item I picked up, but is this. It's like a dusky pink and it's wool and mohair blend. And it is this, it is Jigsaw. It's the older Jigsaw, but I did pay £9.50 for it. But I'm thinking I can flip that for about 30 I'm hoping I can flip it for around about 30 plus postage. Um, so with it being wool and mohair. So that was good. This I may keep for myself. Um, this is a uh, cos, and it was six pounds, which is about what I'd pay round here, really, as a label. And it's got these it buttons all the way down the back, all these buttons down the back, and it's just it's just plain black, um, slightly oversized. Sorry, slightly oversized, but. Yeah, that was six. Did I say six pounds? Yeah, six pounds. I was to sell it probably around about 25, maybe a little bit more. Cheryl, you're what you're listing and typing. I've got to do some listing after this. Um, I've got a few items I need to get up. Lex, you've never found cos in the wild, have you not? Find it all the time, me round here. Quite, well, quite a lot, I would say. This is quite lovely. I wish it were my size. Oh, you can't see. This bloody light, honest to God. You can't see it because I'm... Let me see if I can move the light out the way a bit. I don't know if you can see it. I'll hold it up there. Oh, you might be able to see it there. It's tweed. It's a tw little tweed skirt with pockets on. Absolutely gorgeous. Love this. And it's jewels, jewels tweed. I did pay £7 for it. But I love it. Jewels tweed. I have had jewels tweed before. I think I've sold a skirt similar to this, but it was in like a rust orange colour. And that went for around about £30. Um, so I'll probably aim for around 30 on that. It is only a size 10. But um, we'll see what we can do. I'm just trying to... Trying to get the light better for you, then you can see. Love a bit of tweed, yeah. I'd, I, I'm wool and tweed, especially vintage wool and tweed. You'll see in a little bit because I've got another couple of pieces. Absolutely love it. Yeah, it's a lovely colour. Nice. I look, most of the clothes that I bought today are all like autumnal colours, like they're all like browns and and uh, deep purples and you know just dark colours really. So. Oh, hello. Hello, Heather. How are you doing? Nothing that's spectacular with this, but they do sell it. It's a Dejugal. That's how I say it. don't know how anybody else says it, but it was only £3. So, yeah, and it's like new. I'm going to pick that up for £3. It's just a top. But I love the prints of, uh, of these Spanish brands. So, yeah. 
going to pick that up for three pounds. This jumper I've actually sold in grey just this week. Um, this is mint velvet with the buttons down here. Lovely button detail. It's like a ribbed effect. I don't know if it's coming across there. And um, six pound paid for that. Quite happy to pay six pound for that. I think I'll get around about twenty five for that. Heather, you love Desu Girl. Yeah, it's very, um, got a beautiful top actually, um, Heather, and you would really, really love it. It's a vintage one. I've not got it with me though, so it was one I picked up yesterday. Christina, you like the mint velvet top? Yeah, I love mint velvet. I wear quite a bit of mint, vel mint velvet when I find it in my size. I think it's a 16, that, so it's a good size. This is a vintage piece that I picked up. I'm a sucker for anything with beads on. Uh, and this type of design is done on silk. Um, this is Gina Bacone. Um, Gina Bacone is a very slow seller for me in ordinary vintage. But this type of thing, people actually look for stuff like this. And it's got, I don't know, I'll see if I can get a close up there. It's all beaded work. And it's in beautiful condition. I've, I've given it a good check over. I can't see any beads missing off it at all. Um, and that was £3.50. Now, I've sold a top like this. Not Gina Bacconi, but a heavily beaded top for around about £35 to £40. Depending on brand, you can probably ask more as well. So, and it's front and back. So I love, I love that, and, and, and there is a market out there for that. So, hi, Adrian. Oh, you're all right. So, yeah, bit of vintage Gina Bacone. Yeah, I love that. This is another brand I don't find round my way at all, ever. Very rarely find it at all, but uh, never round my way. It's a... Um, Geometric, geometric print top. It's, um, I think it's, I think I'm colour blind. It's, it looks black, black and white to me, but I don't think it's white. And it is Max Mara weekend or weekend Max Mara. And I paid five forty five for that. It is only a small size. It's a size eight, but I just love the print on it. So, so yeah. I'm going to pick that up all day long. So I don't know. I don't know how much I'll get for that. I'm not quite sure what Max Mara is going for, but it is a good brand. It is a good, um, perfect for Christmas do, Christina. Yeah, um, Martina. I'm going to keep calling you Christina <laughs> instead of Martina. Do realise that now. Got it in my head. This was a cracking find and I couldn't believe the price. I had to double check because I thought there should have been a one in front of the price. This is a butter soft leather jacket and it is uh, like a navy blue. I'm just trying to see if I can get the light on it there. You can't really see the colour of it, but it's navy blue and it is soft lambs leather. And um, try Reese or rice, however you want to call it. And when I looked at the price, I couldn't believe it. I had to double check that because I thought, Sure, it should have at least a one or a two in front of it. Seven pounds ninety-five, and it is. If that was my size, I wouldn't be selling it because it, it is the softest leather I have ever felt. It's beautiful, really, really nice, in lovely condition, with these big buttons. Love it. No idea what I'll get for it, um, but Reese is expensive and it's lambs leather, so I would imagine. Upwards of sixty pound, maybe even more. I am not sure. I will. I will have to research because I, I, I really don't know. Because even though it's an expensive brand, doesn't mean that it will sell for expensive money. So it's beautiful, Heather. I knew you'd like that, Heather. It's absolutely gorgeous. Love it. But I think it's about size ten, so I won't go nowhere near me. I won't get. I won't get one arm in it. I don't think. Moving on. Not something um, that I see a lot of either, not round my way anywhere, and possibly won't go this time of year. It is, a again, I like geometric. It's pink and green leaf patternless, 
love the pattern on this and it's sea salt that's your label and it was two pound fifty 100 percent cotton not going to leave that for two pound fifty even if it won't sell at this time of year because it's because it's only cotton it's more like a summery sort of top but yeah i'm going to pick that up for two pound fifty Cheryl, my mate, buy stuff from Reese. It's ridiculously priced. It is. It's absolutely ridiculous. But I think it sells better on eBay in men's stuff. Reese, I've I sold quite a few pieces of men's stuff. It's a bit like Harvest. Harvest sells well in men's, but not as not as well in women women's. But with it being a leather jacket, leather jacket, I'm selling a lot of leather at the moment. Leather jackets, leather skirts, uh, very in. I, th I don't know whether it's the time of year or whether it's just on trend at the moment. Um, leather or faux leather or whatever, however you want to call it. That is um, what's selling at the moment. Hey, Sam and chat. It's great timing. Just finished my tea. <laughs> oh, Kelly. You're all right, love. I've been to a posh pair to town, Kelly. This is, um, I bought this with, the, I may keep this for myself. Um, uh, I've been wanting a geometric wrap dress for a long time. And um, it was a bit pricey. It is, it's Hobbs. And I paid £9.50 for it. Which, it, you know, no, I didn't. I paid 9 you like. <laughs> I paid £9 for it. Uh, and it's a size 16, so it's a wrap dress. And I thought... I'm usually a 14 in dresses. No, I'm usually a 14, but in dresses, let's just say I'm a little bit bigger on top than I am at bottom. So to, to get a dress that fits me, I find it really, really difficult. So these wrap dresses are really good because they just wrap over. So they just fit you wherever they wrap, don't they? So I bought this and I may keep it for myself. So, but I don't know. I'll have to try it on. But if not, £9. I'm not going to lose money on it, so probably maybe about 28 to 35 on that. Sam, can you look at my live? I did when you get a sec and see what you think to the close. Of course I can. Yeah, I will do, Cheryl. I'll have a look for you. No problem. The dress is very me. Do you think so, Heather? I don't know. I, I will try it on and just just see. I, I need to know, you know, the length of it and everything. I'm proper full, proper footed or when when it comes to clothes. Posh prices to match are okay. Um, what I will say, Kelly, is there was a lot of charity shops that I didn't go into because I just because I I know that the prices are just way out of my budget and the like boutiques. So there are certain charity shops, only certain charity shops that I go into in these areas. So loads of good stuff, absolutely, you know, designer stuff galore, but with a hefty price tag in um, in some of the charity shops. So yeah, I'm just my ears sticking up everywhere. State of it. It's it's due for cutting my so it's driving me mad. Uh like you jumper Sam. Oh Heather Miss Shell's live, but she'll watch back later. Right, this was in the women's section, but I think it's a men's, but I would wear it. Tell me what you guys think. I absolutely love this cardigan love it it is that's the print on it and it's by this is by reese as well size large and it's got pocket it's got pockets is pockets is here so v-neck cardigan and it was in the women's section and I really think, you know, it could be either, to be honest. The buttons are on the right. So if I remember rightly, that is men's. But I reckon that would look right nice. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, it is wool, I think, or 50-50, uh, let me look. I can't remember off the top of my head. 80% wool. So, you know. And it was £4.50. So £4.50 into around about 25 to 30. 
What's it got in its pocket, sis? Oh, do I have to have a look? It'd probably be a snotty anchor. There's nothing in that one and nothing in that one. Nothing, Lex. Pockets are always good, yeah. They are, Christina, yeah. They're always good. Comfy pair of jeans and a cami. High knee boots. Definitely, yeah, yeah. Or a pair of leggings, even. Love it. Right, this. Couldn't believe price on this. This is, can you guess the brand? I will see whether anybody can guess the brand on this. It feels like silk, it's not silk. But, um, yeah, I paid, I paid five pounds for this. And it's lovely, it's just an A-line skirt and it's, this has got pockets is as well. Pockets is, pockets is. Oh, we've got Bad Biscuit. Bad Biscuit, that's Lex. Sorry. I'm <laughs> just reading it, chat. Sorry. Got it in one, Kelly. Kelly's right. Yeah, Ted Baker. Five quid for Ted Baker skirt. I thought it was silk at first because it feels so, 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 so silky, but it's not. Um, but yeah, five quid. Five quid. So. I've sold, in fact, I've sold a Ted Baker skirt today for 21 and that wasn't as nice as this. So I'll probably aim for around about 25 on that. Maybe in a bit. Cheryl, I don't know, but it's lovely. Lex, Machino, I wish it was for a fiver. The slimming snatched it off rails for that. Now, this is vintage and I absolutely love this I absolutely i wouldn't wear it myself but i absolutely i'm in love with this as soon as i seen it i just i knew i was having it as soon as i seen it look at this vintage skirt oh my god how gorgeous is that and it's got um inverted pleats two inverted pleats in the front oh, it's amazing love it And it's the same, it's just straight at the back. And uh, this is by, I've never heard of the company, Weatherall, Bond Street Sports Clothing, made in Great Britain. Ah, oh, that's the late. Let me just take this off, I'll show you how much it was. It was £4.50. Uh, let's have a look. There we go, that's the label. Never heard of it, but it's 100% um, it's wool, wool skirt. It has got a couple of marks on it and it will need cleaning. But I thought it's so, uh, the colours are just beautiful. This time of year, that should should fly out. I really, really, really love it. So, yeah, probably aim for around about 25 to 30 on that. Just because of uh, the colours on it and that. Cheryl, I would have picked that up too, yeah. <laughs> Lex, poly point. Yeah, you can have a poly point. <laughs> Kelly, Kelly's got the first poly point. <laughs> Weatherall's were a good label in its day. Oh, thank you for that, Kath. I've not looked any of this up yet, so I don't know. So um, I, I don't always go off brand, especially with vintage. I go off. I go off the way it looks, you know, off the style of it. And that, to me, is just, if I love it, I know somebody else is going to love it. Um, I It's a 16, but it's not a 16, obviously. It's probably about a 12, isn't it? So, um, But some hippie uni kid will probably love that. So, Whew, play me neck. Got loads of stuff today, loads. This is a shirt by Whistles, and it's a chambray, as do they call it? I think it's linen. It's either linen or cotton. It's still got its little taggy in it. Uh, doesn't look like it's been washed either, so it's probably not that old. It's a UK size 12, and it is 100% linen. And I paid. 
So, yeah, going to be 25 in that, I would imagine, 20 to 25. May not sell at this time of year because it's linen, but... Um, Sorry, I'm just reading the chat. Sorry for the silence. Christina bought a Chelsea girl tartan skirt. It's tiny, but it smells very vintage. Not sure to wash it. Not sure whether to wash it or not. Mm, yeah. If it's wool, it's a bit of a. Mm, I get. I know what you mean. Yeah. I, I have no idea. I have a. Um, a hand wash and hand on silk wash on my washing machine, but I don't think I would put a wool skirt in. I would probably hand wash it, yeah, as Kelly says, I would, yeah. Or if it's, I don't know whether the sodium bicarb will work. If, you, if, you've, if you've got like, um, you know, like a suit bag, something like that, that's got a bottom in it, you could put some sodium bicarb in the bottom and zip it up and see whether that'll absorb some of the smell from it. I don't know. I've, I've not. I generally, if something smells of smoke, I, I generally don't list it. I usually just, if I can't wash it, yeah, I generally don't. I hang it on the line. If it's, hang it on the line outside and if that doesn't come out, then I just don't bother listing it. So I don't know why I picked this one up. It is a good it is a good brand, but it doesn't sell very fast. It's a very, 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 very slow seller. It's ghost. But it's a 16s. It was $4.95 and it's a wrap over top. It's that very root. Ghost is all this sort of like. I'm just trying to get it in the light, then you can see it a bit better. This light is shocking. Um this is a typical ghost um design. The pattern and the wrap over, um, they do a lot like this. Um, I think people buy it for, for, for the design of them. Supposed to skim over the bumpy bits, so to speak. So, yeah, 4 95 I'll probably chuck it on for about £18 because, it's like I said, it's, a, it's like Re Reese or Rice. It's a very good brand, but doesn't sell very quickly. Yeah, Heather, the vintage ghost stuff sells well. It's the modern stuff that's slow. Yeah, yeah, it is. But it's expensive, isn't it? So, but I quite like that. So, just for a fiver, I just thought I'll try it. Kelly, have have heard if you stick smoky stuff in the freezer? Oh, yeah, I've heard that as well, Kelly. Good, good idea. Yeah, you could try that, Christine. Right. This is a brand that uh, I haven't picked up before and I have no idea. I know it's quite expensive to buy. Uh, this is Pink Victoria Secrets. Uh, I think it's a pyjama top or a loungewear top. It's got this um, sequined sort of pink and it's got a big one on the back there. It's a really big size, size extra large, I think. And it feels really, really nice. Feels really soft. <laughs> Keep going. I've hacked up five new listings whilst listening. <laughs> um, I've got a little bit left to show you. So three ninety nine. I paid for that one. So um, not quite sure. Like I said, I haven't researched this, but I do know to buy it in the shops. It's quite dear. And if all else fails, I'll keep it and just lodge around the house in it. <laughs> it's like a German top, I think. So. I, this this I love. I've got I've got two of these. Well, not two of these. One's a cardigan, one's a jumper. Um, this is the cardigan. This is a bright orange zip up cardi, and it is jigsaw again. Um, it's a hundred percent wool, size two, and six forty five paid for it. It's got to be an easy thirty pound for that. Easy, maybe a bit more. I don't know. It's only like a, it sits on on your waist. It's not like a long cardigan, but yeah, it's quite heavy though. So there's that one. And then I also got, not from the same shop, 
I've got this one. Oh, this isn't Jigsaw, sorry, no. But it's it's a similar chunky knit cardigan. This is a green one. I absolutely love this. Love it. Great big massive wide sleeves on it. And this is Jaeger. Or Jaeger, however you want us to say it. And that one was $5.99. So again, yeah, uh, this is, I think this is 50% wool. Yeah, 50% wool, 50% acrylic. So again, I'm going to aim on the high 20s, possibly low 30s for that. Uh, maybe 35, I don't know. Um, I am going to research everything before I list it because I don't like underpricing my items. Um, I think it brings... If you sort of like undercut and undercut, it brings the prices down for everybody. So I think you should list uh, where they're at and where they're selling at. And don't just like, don't just look at what people are listening for. You need to look at what they're actually selling for as well uh, and list accordingly. That's that's how I do things anyway. I'm, I'm not, for one minute, I am not saying that you should do that. That is my business model. Not everybody's the same. So, but um, yeah. Right, sorry. This next one's jigsaw, and it's only a small size. Again, it's a size. It, it is a size small, which I would probably class as about a size eight. I'll have to pull the tag off it. it it's cashmere. It's three pound fifty cashmere jigsaw. Uh, tiny little pink V-neck jumper. Really super super soft. This. Oh, love it. Absolutely love it. Um. Yeah, nothing else, much else I can say about that. Don't know what it'll go for, but Jigsaw is a dear brand and it's cashmere. The only thing that's a drawback about it is it's a size small. So, but hey ho. So, no listing them for four ninety nine then. Nope, not on buy now, Lex. Not a chance. Um, if I was listing them on, on auctions, oh, I don't think I'd list them at that either. <laughs> Heather, I hardly ever check comps. I just price what I think, usually higher than everyone else. Well, that's fair enough. You can always come down if you price it higher. But if, you, if you're pricing, if you're buying decent stuff and you're selling it for low prices or you're, selling, you're, you're undercutting everybody, you're just bringing the price down for everybody else and, you know, it it just tanks all the prices on, on on the items, on very good items as well. Yeah, Heather, I definitely agree with you there. Yeah, some cashmere is definitely better than others. It is, definitely, yeah. Right, I'm on to the last few pieces now, and these are all vintage. Um, this is a vintage dress. It is crushed velvet at the top and, like, Oh, it's gonna it's gonna annoy me this because this is such a beautiful dress and you can't really see it. It's like a band at the top, then this velvet, and then it's like crushed. So I like I don't even, I don't even know. It could be silk actually. I don't know. Let's have a look. No, it's cotton and polyester. And this is it's like a boob tube, as I used to call them, boob boob tube dress. So it's a fit and flows out, and it is. Uh, I'm really sorry I can't show you this in such in better light because it's beautiful. It's Laura Ash, vintage Laura Ashley, and I paid seven ninety nine. And it's like it's black. The busty is black, and the bottom bit is like a, a deep midnight blue. No, it's not showing you. Uh, there you go. You might be able to see it a bit better there. 80s cocktail dress. It's look, I was having a look for straps, you know, like for removable straps, but it hasn't got any. So I'm thinking that that is just how it was, how it was supposed to be. But yeah, I love, I love vintage Laura Ashley, and I always pick it up whenever I see it. Show it on Instagram when I'm photographing. I will do. I will. I'll try and do. And then if one Laura Ashley wasn't enough, vintage one, I got another one. And this is velvet with uh, all this beading around the neck. Oh, you can see it there. These little beads and beaded cuffs. 
as well, long sleeved, and it's like scooped back. It's it's sort of it's not off the shoulder, but it's sort of if you can see it's sort of it doesn't sit like it's probably come about here. I forgot what the name of it is. Um, but yeah, it's just plain black, long sleeved, beautiful like velvet dress. And again, it's Laura Ashley. Don't even know what size these are. Size twelve. This one. Yeah, this one was. Uh, sorry, five ninety nine as well. And there's your little tag. Yeah. Scooped neck. Yeah, it's it's the back that's scooped though, not the not the front. Uh, um, I don't know. I think the front could. Oh. Oh, it was a piece of fluff. I thought there was a little hole in it then. I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. No. Yeah, so I, like I say, I have no idea what these go for. I don't think these go for as much as like the prairie dresses and stuff like that. Uh, I've had those before. They go, they go for good money. And they are slow sellers. Um, you know, you have to wait for the right buyer. So, but I'm quite happy to just let them sit. My clothing lady texted me earlier. She's, sta she's standing car boot tomorrow, but not my local one. Are you going car boot tomorrow, Kelly? I'm not going to bother. It's going to be chucking it down here. Right, my favourite, favourite, favourite <laughs> vintage piece that I picked up today. Absolutely in love with it. I just, I like a lot of people saying, oh my God, you're off your head, but it's this kilt but it's not just a kilt it's a maxi kilt it's super super long to the floor all the way down and it's got this beautiful pin if i can find it um there we are not just a normal pin but it's got this beautiful look at that absolutely stunning pin on it I've not even looked at this, to be honest. I only saw it when I was buying the skirt. Uh, and I think that is, um, oh, it's the thing for Scotland, isn't it? Um, ooh, what's it called? It's a thistle, isn't it? And that is uh, beautiful. I don't think, it's not vintage or anything. Oh, it's got a name on it. Oh, let me have a look, what does that say? Oh, it just, no, it must come with a skirt. It just says Scotland on the back, so it must actually come with it. Yeah, it's a thistle, yeah. So I, I, put, I love it. Absolutely love that. And it's by, let me have a look. Paid $7.50 for it. And it is by, it says, Made in Scotland, Hector Russell. Not looped, like I say, I've not looped any brands up yet, but that is the tag. And it's pure, all, all pure new wool, as, as they usually are, these. I've not got, even got a clue what, what size it is, to be honest. But it's, oh, it's Velcro. Got a bit of Velcro on it. That's a Vero right there. Don't ever put Velcro in your title. You will get a Vero for it. And it's got little leather straps here. That sounds horrible. Right. That sounds a bit kinky. That some tilt leather straps. Yeah, buckles on here. Absolutely amazing. Can you tell I love this skirt? <laughs> I've never found a kilt that's full length. Is it a hunting one? Oh, I don't know. The, the name sounds a bit like that, doesn't it? Yeah, Hector Russell. Kilt makers. So I don't know. I shall have to look it up. I shall look it up and see see what it's worth. I'm not bothered. I just love it. Fastest finger cut first, Kelly. Wanna be in a quiz team? <laughs> Martina courts our arms. Poly point. Yeah, you can have a poly. You can have another poly point for that if you want for the thistle. 
Cheryl, what happens if you get a V-roll? It depends, I think. Uh, I think you can rather be, you like, you get banned for listing for so many days or stuff like that. I mean, in worst case scenario, they can just shut your account down, but it's just not worth, worth it. So if you've got anything that's got Velcro on it, uh, we always describe it as hook and loop. Uh, in the title and that so I mean some people do put velcro in and they might get away with it but um, if it's if it's seen by eBay yeah oh, Martina says beige one on eBay asking £42.99 bargain absolute bargain then at 7 50 quite happy with that cute skirt how small is it? How small is it? Uh, I would, looking at it from there, I would probably say it's about a size 10. But, like I say, it's Velcro, so possibly. Yeah, but I would possibly say a size 10. I can't find, let's see if there's any other labels on it. I don't think there is. It's, there's a lot of it to look at. No, I can't find a size, but I can measure it. Heather had a three-day ban once. What, for, <laughs> for, for a V-Row? Christine, red's more desirable. Yeah, I would have thought so as well. I might aim for it. I, I, I'll do a bit of research on it, but I'm thinking around 60 to 70, possibly. I don't know. Like I say, I'm just plucking figures out of the air. Don't, don't, you know, don't, don't take my word for stuff. Just if you're selling stuff, just uh, research. Fifty nine ninety nine on the kilt. Soon be Hogmanay. Oh, when is Hogmanay then, Kelly? I haven't got a clue. Right, last item that I'm going to show you is this. And I don't know whether it could possibly be a fail. It's vintage. It's my favorite, one of my favourite pieces. It's this jacket and it is... Ooh, 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 come on. Liberty. By Liberty, it's... it's, it's uh, put my teeth back in. <laughs> it's a... It's, a, uh, uh. <laughs> it's an inside out jacket, a reversible jacket. That's, what the, that's the word I'm looking for. It's a reversible jacket. So it's this big, heavy cotton jacket with big scoop pockets on it. And then it reverses into this red wool with the, uh, with the Liberty on the back. January, poly <laughs> Yay, can I have another one? So you've got three poly points now. I'll try and stand up. So this is the jacket. Oh, God, it's massive. And then it's got, if you turn the collar over at the back, it's got the um, the red, the burgundy wool as well. So we don't know. I'm really not sure on this. I did have a little quick look at this, but I couldn't see anything similar. Um, I don't know how old it is. Um, so I'm going to have to have a look on the Vintage Guild and, and look up this label because you can do that. You can look on for labels and it sort of like tells you the, the era sort of thing that this was made in. So, um, yeah, I did pay £12 for it. So I'm hoping, obviously, to get my £12 back. Uh, and if I, don't, if I don't get much more than that, I, it's a lesson learned, isn't it? But I don't think I'll lose money on it, not by any means. But, yes, so that were me all... I don't know how much I've spent. I've spent a fortune. Don't know how much, but oh, is that right? Knocking the table. I'm losing the chat. I wish I was a petite sometimes. Oh God, you're tiny, Heather. What are you on about? Martin is only five foot one. <laughs> oh, you're only one inch bigger than. Um... Cheryl, Cheryl's only five foot. No way that you're delicate, petite. No, you're tall like me, aren't you, Heather? Cheryl's finished the listings for the night. Fantastic. 
Christina's five foot two and petite, even worse. Some great fans. Oh, thank you, Christina. Yeah. We'll all like. <laughs> I can, I'm not seeing all the comments on here because Heather's comment is just disappeared. Um, let's get the chat up. No, it's not coming up. I think I've shrunk since having a baby. <laughs> oh, my fat belly's making me bent. <laughs> Don't be daft, Cheryl. Oh, anyway, I hope everybody else has had a good day. Uh, sales are good at the moment. They are ticking over nicely. I've had some quite a lot of high-end ticket items going out the shop. So, uh, yeah, quite happy with how sales are at the moment. I, I'm a, I am aware that it's not like that for everybody, though. So, um, But I'm just going to keep listing and just enjoy the sales coming in and put money away now for when the slow times hit. So, because that won't be long off. I am now going to go and have a beer. I'm going to nip and watch Cheryl's live, and then I'm going to message her. Um, and then do a couple of listings, I think, before I go to bed. And I'm having the day off tomorrow. I'm not doing anything. I'm not going to the car boot tomorrow because I've got enough stock to list for next week. Well, I've just got a... This is just going to go in my death pile, so. See you, Cheryl. Bye. Like, sales a bit near today. Yeah, I, I haven't had loads, I don't think, but they've been, the monetary value has been quite okay, so I'm quite happy with that, so. Christina, uh, Martina, <laughs> see, did it again. Still waiting for my sales. Had one, one waiting payment. Oh, hopefully they'll pay soon. <laughs> yeah, one month to hitch in. One month. This time in a month, girls, we'll all be getting sloshed. We'll all be on the gin. Or Kelly will be on the pints. <laughs> Heather's had a good day today as well. Very good. Christina just keeps buying. I'm the same. I, I think I buy more than a sell. I take more into the shop than actually goes out of the shop, which is not how things are supposed to work, is it really? But there you go. Lexi's on 103 for the day. I'm not quite sure because I've not logged onto the computer yet what I'm on for the day. Um, but I've had last month and this month has been my best months. Uh, well, not this month because it's November, but um, October and September were, were were good months for me. So uh, the best all year, but they generally are anyway. September, October, November are generally the better months of the year for me, being predominantly a clothing reseller. I think Heather says the same as well. Heather's Heather has is a better this time of year. Kelly's on a big fat zero. Oh, are you? Are you going the booty? Have I asked you, are you going the booty tomorrow, Kelly? Is it going to be raining up where you are? Because it's going to be chucking it down here, I think. I'll just check the weather app again, but let's have a look. Let's have a look. Come on, you stupid thing. Yeah, that's the weather for tomorrow. Where I am in Manchester. Rain, rain and rain. So my car boot will be on. Even in the rain it's on. But no. Right guys, I'm gonna fire off. I'm gonna go and sit down and have a beer now and do a bit of listing. I'm gonna watch Cheryl's live and just chill out and I'm doing nothing tomorrow. So yeah, Kelly's off to the booty. I knew you would be. Cheryl's on 40 for today. Right. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'm glad you all came to watch. And please, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next haul video or sales update if I do one. And uh, have a great night, people, and a lovely weekend. And I'll see you soon. Bye for now.